Good morning, all of you. Today's topic is Risk Adjusted Discount Rate, RADR. This concept is used by those investors who are taking extra risk by investing in big, big investment projects. So when they are taking extra risk, they want more compensation, higher compensation from the project. And over a period of time, they want more returns compared to treasury bill returns. Now, if I say treasury bill rate is 3.45, you want to take more, you are taking high risk in the project by investing in project. Uh, you want extra returns. So RADR formula is computed with risk free rate plus risk premium. Okay. And uh, this formula is used for calculating the discount rate. So all the future values of cash inflows in the question, future value of cash inflows from year one to five or year one to 10 will be given. And you have to use this RADR concept for discounting the cash inflows, discounting the cash inflows with a PV rate of RADR, whatever RADR you will get, you will do PV factor of that. And after that, you will multiply the future values with the present value factor and then you will get the present value cash inflow. And after that, you will make a total of present value of cash inflow and deduct the cash outflow from that. You will get NPV. As you know, the NPV concept already net present value. And if the NPV comes positive, you will select the project. You will go with the project. And if it is negative less than zero, you will reject the investment project. And uh, these, uh, the, in this question, you have to calculate NPV using RADR risk adjusted discounted rate for an investment project having the following cash flows. These are the future cash flows, okay? Estimated future cash flows from the project. The project cost is 2 lakh. This you are going to incur today. 2 lakh you will invest today. And in the next year, you will get 80,000 and second year you will get 70,000, third year you will receive 85,000, fourth year you will receive 60,000, fifth year you will receive 50,000. <coughs> Risk-free rate is 7%, risk-adjusted rate is 10%. Now in this uh, uh, question, they have calculated already risk-adjusted rate. RADR rate is already given 10%. If the risk-free rate is 7%, you can calculate the risk premium. 10 minus 7, risk premium is 3. So a person who is taking high risk by investing into the company's project, when investors are taking high risk, they want high compensation from the, the project in the form of returns. So already the rate is given, risk-adjusted rate 10%. If Risk-free rate is given and risk premium is given. Then you have to add 7 plus 3 and you will get 10. But in this question, they have directly given 10%. So this 10% we will use as a discounting factor. Now, this is your table, solution table. Here, 1 to 5 cash inflows, which are given in the question already. And this is the PV factor at 10% present value factor formula they have used is one upon one plus r bracket close raised to n one upon 1.1 0 0.909 one upon 1.1 1 .1 square 0 0.826 one upon 1.1 1 .1 raised to 3 0 0.751 one upon 1.1 1 .1 raised to 4 0 0.6830 1 upon 1.10 raised to 5, 0 0.621. PV of CFAT, this is multiplying the future value with a PV factor. You will get 72,720. 80,000 into 0.909. You will get 72,720. Similarly, you will do it for all the figures till fifth year. Last figure, 50,000 into 0 0.621. 
present value of cash inflow that means total of this aggregate 266405 less cash outflow 2 lakh net present value 66405 project is having positive npv whenever inflows are greater than the outflow the project is acceptable 